What's going on everybody? This is Chaz with Homegrown How To. Just dropping by real quick to make another video. So if you've seen my video that I posted a while ago about installing lawn edging for a decent price, I installed some of that rolled plastic edging in my garden to give it a nice clean look in the transition from the grass to the garden bed. I didn't want to go with concrete curbing and the metal edging was just too pricey for me. So I went ahead and thought I'd spend the money and try out a cheap, plastic edging and I'm really happy with the benefits so this is kind of just an update to that video. So it's been over a year and a half since I made that video and I've got to tell you it's really done what I've wanted it to do is I have a Kentucky bluegrass and perennial ryegrass mix and the Kentucky blue is a rhizomatic grass so the roots and the rhizomes will kind of spread out and over time will create new grass blades popping up and I just had a ton of grass popping up through my garden beds and I found myself digging it out a couple times a year and it was just a lot of work and I didn't enjoy it. So I went ahead and installed that plastic edging and I'll kind of show you how it's held up. And please, before we get started, if you find this video helpful at all, please hit that like and subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is a free, easy way for you to support me in making more videos. God bless America, baby. Thanks to all the troops for your service and sacrifice. Appreciate all of you. So I installed all of this plastic edging throughout all of my beds on the transition from where the grass meets the garden beds. And you can see, for the most part, I don't have really any grass popping up through the bed. There's a few spots that are popping up, but honestly, I think that's just popping up from when I installed the edging and there was just some grass left over in the beds. But I'll just come around every now and then and just pick these out. It's super easy to do. It's a lot less work than having to dig up the entire bed and reestablish that edge. So I'm actually going to be reestablishing the edge a little bit. I know that's kind of counter counterintuitive to what I've said. It's it's held up well, but I just want to make that edge a little bit deeper so it looks a little bit more crisp and clean. And uh, I've already done a little section of my yard, so I'll show you what that looks like right now. And I'll just show you how I do that real quick. So again, here is the original installation of the edging. It looks pretty good, nice and clean. So here's kind of where I updated that and made the edge a little bit deeper. You can see about a good three inches from the base of the dirt to the lawn and I think that looks a lot better a lot more crisp other than the overall better look of the deeper transition um, one thing that really bothered me is when I was when I would mow or trim I would catch some of that mulch in the garden beds and it would flip all over the lawn and that bothered me so um, this is something that I did not like and definitely wanted to fix so as you can see there's wood chips all over the lawn just after doing that that's something I want to try to avoid here with that deep red you can really see how much cleaner it looks so versus over here when you look at the edge it still looks clean, but with the deeper edge, in my opinion, it's a lot cleaner. So we're gonna drop this down another couple inches, kind of clean this up. I'm 
moved up all that mulch up there and then back here I'm gonna pull this mulch forward pull the mulch forward there so that when I dig up the dirt around the edging I can kind of throw it back in those spots and over time it'll flatten out really nicely Now I'll come around and step on the areas right in the gutter so that it compresses that edging up against the wall, up against the grass still so that it just kind of holds it in place. I'll go back and pull all that mulch down. I can use a rake or I just find it easier if I just use my hands. ditches are dug that lip is a good three to four inches around you can see it just looks so much better <coughs> very happy with this come look at it over here you can see how well defined that is just looks pretty and yeah, the mulch beds are kind of messed up just from doing this, but I'm either going to remulch or just throw down compost in my garden beds next year. Leaning more towards compost, I think it's just a cleaner look. But happy with the way this looks and this bed's ready to go into fall. Free aeration and fertilization, baby. Love worms. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. It's a free, easy way for you to support me in making these videos. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.